<laughs> that was a total eclipse of your face, just that, the way that graphic came on. We should do that year round for me. Anytime you don't want to hear any more, just right over my face. And roll it. Especially right, especially right now, because this storm, not a lot of people are happy about it. Keith. No, no. Uh, um, Dan and I were just talking about, from a weather standpoint, this is a really beautiful storm system. Look at that low back towards Chicago. The secondary low is starting to develop out toward Washington, D.C., so really kind of a, um, a good-looking storm. Good-looking in our world sometimes means inclement weather. That'll be the case here from southwest to northeast as precipitation moves in. It's right on schedule right now, and we are seeing rain along the coastline. Surface temperatures too warm. A lot of mixed precipitation. I've yet to get a, a report of all snow anywhere. I've gotten sleet. I've gotten rain. I've gotten snowflakes mixed with rain, but I have not gotten any reports of just snow yet. So that's why, you know, we talked about the last few days. I thought the evening commute would be fine, and that's why, because it's just not really going to accumulate very efficiently at all over the next few hours. But later tonight, this is 9 o'clock tonight, obviously the sun has set, it starts getting colder, um, and it also this low is developing and manufacturing its own cold air. So it starts accumulating inland into the mountains. I think the coastline is still fighting a bit with ineffective snow until very late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And the meat of this storm for a lot of us will be, say, 2 a.m., to 9 or 10 a.m., depending on your exact location, of course. Some of the heaviest stuff will go down during that time period. I think tomorrow morning's commute is rough. You're seeing all these closings below me. I think it's a good call in a lot of places because it's going to be a tough commute. The roads will be slick because it's actually accumulating on the roadways. During the midday period, 10 a.m. to noon, that's when we're going to figure out if the coast is going to be too warm to accumulate additional snow or not. I think that it will be, and that's where our forecast is coming from. Farther inland, it will be cold enough that it snows all day and it accumulates all day into the evening as well. And even Friday morning, it's still snowing a little bit here into the mid coast and uh, into the mountains. So this map hasn't changed. Again, we have talked about our biggest risk zone is along the coastline. Look, if it's if it's a little bit colder than forecast tomorrow, we'll be able to accumulate all day tomorrow, and that will be more than four to eight inches. But I don't think that we will be able to, and that's why we have this forecast. Eight to 12 just inland, 12 to 18, 18 plus out towards Sebago and Freiburg. Could extend itself very close to Sanford too, depending on the snow ratios. And then we have the wind. It's already quite windy out there. Wind gusts will get to 40 to 50 miles an hour by tomorrow morning through about the mid-morning hours. That's the peak wind gust. Plus, we'll have the snow on the trees. So I think a lot of power outages will happen late tonight through about midday tomorrow. And I think that the algorithm here that tries to predict power outage risk is underdoing it because it doesn't know, and how would it, that there's a bunch of trees here that are broken from our ice event a week and a half ago. So I would shade this here in addition to those inland um, predicted outages. And just by a matter of scale, guys, I was saying before, I've never seen this color. I think it's reserved for major hurricanes or something like that. You're not, you're not going to see it show up, or I hope we never see it show up here in Maine. Um, it's still kind of messy on Friday, but the accumulation is largely done. Showers remain on Saturday, and then finally the sun comes back out on Sunday afternoon. And that is a hard turn, guys, yeah. to a much nicer pattern. Upper 50s, a stray 60 on Monday could happen. Ooh. Even up in Holton, where we're uh, planning on going here, me and Amanda, um, probably low 50s. That wasn't how I pictured it when they told me what the plan was for it. So yeah. great, that's going to be awesome. So at least we have that on the other side to look forward to. Some light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Keith.